Now, I want to work with this guy named Weska who showed comparisons between, and we want to look at how many things are similar, how many things are different. And so I want to put up this kind of a chart, and we're going to look at, you know, how much of Luke or Mark was different and how much of Mark was similar to the other Gospels. So the differences are going to be the differences from the other Gospels. Similarities are going to be when they overlap, when they're similar. In Mark, 7% of Mark is unique to Mark. 7% of Mark is different than the other Gospels. 7%. That means if you lost the book of Mark, how much would you lose? You'd lose about 7%. Okay? Which means then that 93% of Mark, this is huge, this is huge, 93% of Mark is found in the other Gospels. And a lot of um, New Testament scholars today, there's some divergence on this, there's some argumentation on this, but most, many, let me not say most, but many New Testament scholars will, will hold to a Mark in priority, as they call it. That in other words, Mark came first, and Matthew and Luke used Mark. So Mark came first, and then Matthew and Luke drew on Mark. They call that Mark in priority, that Mark came first. And here's one of the reasons why they do that. Not the only reason, certainly, but this is one of them, that Mark, so much of Mark is found in, in the other Gospels. 93% of it is picked up in Matthew and Luke. That's incredible. So most of Mark is found elsewhere. Now, Matthew, 42% of Matthew is unique to him, and 58% of Matthew is similar, so that Matthew shares with other Gospels 58%. 42% is unique, so that's 42%. That's quite a bit, okay? And you look at some of the things in the uh, Olivet Discourse and other things in uh, Matthew, they are unique. Luke, you'll notice this is edging up. Luke is now almost 60% unique. But nevertheless, 30, 41%, 41% is basically uh, is, is found in other Gospels. So Luke is about you know 60-40, 60% unique, but 40% overlap. So it's still quite a bit of Luke is found elsewhere. And uh, so that these three Gospels now you see are very similar to each other, especially Mark. Now, let's look at John. John, we said, is not one of the synoptic Gospels. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are the synoptic Gospels. John's totally different. John is 92% unique. 92%. You see that? That's incredible compared to these three. You can see why these three are paralleled. And John, 92% of John is found nowhere else. Totally unique to John. And only 8%, only 8% of the book of John is found in these other three Gospels. And that's why John is giving you a different perspective. It's interesting, actually, the John and Mark roles almost reverse. 8% is similar to John, is similar to the other Gospels, but Luke, Mark has only a 7% uh, unique to him. Matthew has 92% unique to him. Most of Mark is found elsewhere, and so there's almost like a flip-flop back on those. But John, John's very unique. John's very unique. That's, and so these three are the synoptic Gospels, and this one, John is... Well, John's John, okay? So, so this is this kind of a comparison of how much there's overlap. And we said there's a lot of overlap with Mark and not, not so much uh, and totally not much with uh, John. Now, here's another way to look at it. Here's another way to look at it. If you do these, you remember these Venn diagrams from when you're in high school and things, probably try to forget this uh, Venn diagram stuff, but it actually comes in pretty handy here in comparing these three things, okay? So you've got Mark, only 50 verses of Mark are kind of unique. Matthew has 280, Luke has 500 unique. So you can see Luke of the three, Luke is the most unique, Mark is the most not unique, and Matthew's got his own substantial stuff, but here. There's 480 segments here, 480 segments that overlap. All three have these 480 and sim similarities in common, they overlap. And then here between Mark and Matthew, about 180 is, is shared between Mark and Matthew, but not in Luke. Okay, this is outside Luke. This is just shared by Matthew and Mark, but 180 segments there. Mark and Luke share uniquely outside of Matthew about 20. So this is not very much at all. Uh, Luke shares with Mark 20 segments. And then uh, 170 units are shared by Matthew and Luke, but not in Mark. 
So most of Mark contains, is, is found elsewhere, only 50 verses, or 50 segments, not, 170 shared between Matthew and Luke. And we call this 170 is going to be called Q. Well, we'll, we'll see this in a minute, what, what Q is. We're going to call that the quella, the source. And this is the source that's shared. This is the material here, Q, that's shared by Matthew and Luke, but not in Mark. So it's outside Mark, and that's what they call the Q source. In other words, if there was a source that Matthew and Luke had that Mark didn't have, and Matthew and Luke drew on that Q source to provide the 170 segments there. Now, um, differences. Differences. 